probably our biggest surprise was educating girls and family planning. You combine these two together, the number one solution to reversing global warming is the empowerment of girls and women. So our daughter starts school next year. And as an Australian, I completely take for granted that she will get to complete her education. And what I'm just learning here is that there are 65 million girls around the world that don't get that opportunity. And there's a host of reasons for that. That some are put to work to support families or they're married off. But on average, those girls will have five or more children. So we found that across the board, and this isn't just countries where there might be high rates of poverty, even wealthier countries, we know that when girls stay in school for longer and they have access to good reproductive health services as well as decent work opportunities, that women will tend to delay having children until they're ready and then they choose to have fewer children from then on. So what this does as a collective is it slows down the population growth rate, which means that there's less pressure and competition for access to a whole range of resources, whether it's food or water or land. Their children tend to stay in school longer as well and over time they sort of break that cycle of poverty. So it's a form of family planning, but it's not coercive, it's not control, it's just empowering girls to be who they want to be, and you have these incredible benefits. One child, one teacher, one book and one pen can change the world.